Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about how we can trade a particular asset by using only a pure price action. I mean, you are like a, a trading a particular asset uh, with the pure price action or with the candlestick only and uh, without using any kind of indicator. In this video, I'm going to take an example of uh, GBP, JPY and gold. But uh, this analysis is true on any kind of pair, whether that's from uh, like a forex, a commodity, crypto, as a stock market or indices. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, we are going to start with the GBP, JPY. And we are just going to do like we will do a top down analysis on these two pairs, which will like uh, the higher time frame analysis will give us a direction and the lower time frame analysis we are going to use in order to find out the entry for trading. So let's start uh, with the GBP JPY monthly time frame. So as we can see, guys, that there has been uh, like as we can see right now here. So we can see that uh, there has been a uh, resistance here. There has been a resistance here, and uh, there has been a support here. So now on the monthly time frame, as we can see that uh, once this bearish candle closed at the resistance, so we were expecting uh, the next candle to fill this range until uh, the support, as we can see, as we can see here. So we, even now, the price on monthly is pretty bearish. So we are still expecting the price to fill this range or fill this whole range until the support. So this is like on the monthly, we are pretty much bearish. Now, if we look at what uh, weekly is doing, so in the weekly, as we can see that uh, uh, this has been a support. As you can see, this has been retested multiple times, so there's been a support. So as you can see, the price was making bearish candle, so price was coming lower. And as I mentioned in previous videos, that uh, uh, because uh, price closed below this support, this has been a support. So uh, when this weekly candle closed bearish below this support, so I was particularly expecting this whole range to be filled. Now, we have another a bullish candle close and we just made a support now right here so what we are going to expect in the coming week so as i mentioned because this weekly candle closed below the support so we have this range this was the resistance and this was the support so once this weekly candle closed below the resistance so i was expecting this whole range to be filled until this support so this still can come true but now as you can see there is a bullish candle close so we have a new support now so in order the in order price to go down we have to break below this support so what we can expect in the coming week now as you can see this uh, weekly candle this weekly candle close like almost at the this resistance so we don't know what's going to happen in the coming week so the thing is like if next week we have something like uh, okay if we have like in the coming week a bullish candle closer something like this then definitely we can come up to fill the range now as we can see here that there is another uh, resistance until here so if we if we like uh, so if this bullish candle close below this one it closed bullish but below this resistance then definitely we can come up to fill this range but if this weekly candle close like uh, uh let me show you that if this uh, weekly candle suppose uh, uh close like okay like this this weekly candle close bullish above this resistance then what we're going to have then what's going to happen and what we're going to check for then we know that there is a resistance above here right there is a resistance above here this is going to be a whole range now this is going to be a range this is the support this is the resistance now this weekly candle is closing in this range so we are expecting the next candle to fill this range until until the price here so that's what's going to happen 
now it's not pretty much clear because the price has just closed at this resistance now if the next weekly candle somehow closes like uh, uh, suppose we have this weekly candle closes bearish below this support then what we are going to expect now we know that there is a uh, I mean, uh, this is going to be a support and this is another support so you can see this is a resistance this is a support. so if price break and close below the support then the next support is going to be here so once the price enter this range we are expecting the next candle to fill this range like uh, so we are expecting the price to fill this range like this so it totally depends upon how the next few candle closes so or the next candle closes so that will give us some kind of direction the price is going above or below so that's uh, what's happening on the daily so now let's see what's happening oh that's sorry that was weekly so now let's see what's happening on the daily now on the daily as well guys as you can see right now the the price made our resistance here once this bearish candle closed so we made a kind of resistance and uh, now the last daily candle which is a friday candle close above this resistance but we are still below this another resistance and if you see the price section uh, the price made this support break below the support and uh, now just coming to it so this might be a retest of this recent broken zone and the next so again as uh, we said about the weekly the the, the, the the things are not pretty much clear so the daily as well things are not pretty much clear so we need few more candles or maybe one candle to find the direction in the market how so now we know that we are just below the resistance so <clears throat> if we have a daily candle closing bearish then definitely we can come down to fill this suppose like a uh, suppose we have this uh, new candle next daily candle closing bearish here and uh, close below this resistance so what will happen this daily will be called as a fake out because they break above the resistance and the next daily candle came back into the range so if something like that happened then we are going to expect the next candle to fill this range because this is a support right here and there might be uh, like that might come to the next support as well so we are expecting something like this to happen because we know that on the weekly as well there is no clear direction so something like this can happen if we have a daily closure but if we have uh, like a uh, bullish closure then uh, the situation something like this can happen suppose we have a daily closure like this above this resistance then what can happen we know guys this is, this is a support and uh, this is going to be a resistance here so let me show you this is a support and uh, although this is also going to be a resistance here but uh, the final resistance is right here so we can say that okay so we can say that okay uh, this is a support this is a resistance so if the price close about this uh, um, support resistance whatever you call it if we close about this so price will come into this range once we enter the range we are expecting the next candle to fill this range sorry 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 guys so we are expecting the next candles to fill this whole range like this and maybe can, can continue higher so it totally depends upon how we get our daily candle closings so now let's see what's happening on the four hours so this is about the daily on the four hour guys as we can see right now the, this is going to be a resistance zone and this is going to be our resistance zone as well as you can see guys once the price was coming higher price made resistance you get rejected and now uh, came up higher we got this uh, bullish candle closure above this resistance so now because this is going to be a range this was going to be the support this one is going to be the resistance. So once the price closed above this resistance or came into this range close into this range so we were expecting the next candle to uh, to come up higher and fill this full range something like this but that never happened and why it never happened because the next candle closed bearish and the price came into the range so because now this is going to be called as a fake out on the four hour time frame because the price gave us a breakout and the next candle closed below the range so clear, uh, like closing into the range so now what we are going to expect we are going to expect 
uh, the price to uh, come lower and fill this range because this is going to be the resistance this is the support so this is going to be the whole range so now we are expecting something like this to happen on the four hour time frame so that's about the four hour but if that doesn't happen and the price again came into this another range so we will expect the price to fill uh, fill this range on the higher side i mean if we have something like a bullish closure again into this range again so what are we going to have what are we going to expect we are going to expect the filling of this range again so that is how it's going to work out now let's check what's happening on the lower time frames one hour and 30 minutes so let's go to one hour and 30 minutes now on the one hour and 30 minutes guys so if we see the last resistance so we can say that okay this is going to be the resistance price came here and here so let's come a little bit higher because this was the previous resistance on the 30 minutes and here also price touch and uh, touch that and came lower so if we see this is going to be uh, support here and uh, if we see like the next support can be this one and um, this one so what we are expecting right at the moment guys so as you can see this has been a resistance price came and rejected this area so now if we get a break and close above this area then definitely we are going to expect uh we are expecting to fill this range on the left hand side as you can see this has been a resistance price once price closed below here in the past it was always rejected to the downside so if the price come into this range we are and hit this area we are again expecting a kind of downside from that area so what we are expecting now so now we are expecting kind of if we uh, kind of get a break and close something like this about this resistance because the price on the suppose 30 minute narrow close about this area so if we get a closure like this we are expecting the next candle to fill this range on the left hand side so that is how we are going to do and that is what we are expecting on the one hour and 30 minutes so if that doesn't happen price doesn't go higher and uh, i mean this is going to be a bullish setup so what you can do something like okay if we get uh, suppose like uh, so buys a boy area so if uh, how we are going to look for the short so if uh, like on the higher time frames as well we know that this has been a strong area on the four hour and uh, on the daily as well so definitely uh, definitely if we get a break and close below this area on the price so we can look to go short so suppose something like this happens if you get a break and close okay okay just uh just a second just a second let's modify this area because uh, this been a support right here so there is another support right here so let's drag this support here because now we have a clean range on the left hand side and there is another clean clean range so now we are expecting the price to give us a break and close below this area so that we can use this range as a target so what we are expecting now guys we are expecting the price to give us something like this a close on 30 minutes or one hour below this support once that happen we are going to like with the next candle we are going to expect to fill this range because we see that it's a clean range or maybe this whole range so that is how we are going to expect in the next candles so that is how guys we can just uh, that is how we can analyze the market from um, higher time frame monthly weekly daily four hour one hour 30 minutes and that is how we can find out trading setups for the day-to-day -day, like intraday trading setups or scalping trading setups and I mean it's the same map the same analysis that we are using on each and every time frame so it's, it's very simple we are not using any kind of indicator so same kind of analysis we can use on the gold as well so let's see i think uh, the video is going to be lengthy if i just analyze the gold as well but the same i think it, so what i'm going to say that it's going to be the same method same technique same way that i that i analyze the gbp jpy chart the same method we are going to use on gold or forex or stock stock mark or any stock 
or indices or any chart the same method we are going to use without any kind of indicator so um, so friends i hope you enjoyed the video and if you really did like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and youtube algorithm thank you very much see you in another video